Hello, gorgeous people. How are we doing? Checking in for training Thursday. I am uh, super excited today. I, uh, I really want to talk to you about a couple of different things, but I will get on the training wagon first. So uh, if you are joining us, say hello. Uh, I'm looking forward to answering any questions that you might have around apps that could be really beneficial in your business. Um, let me know if you are here. Let me know if you have any questions about what we're going to talk about today. So the, what we are planning on talking about today, uh, if you are joining us, I see a few of you joining us now. Uh, we are talking about three different areas of apps. Three different areas. The first area is business apps. So uh, what apps can make your life easier as a business owner? The next space we are talking about is what apps can make your life easier as a clinician? So clinical apps. And the third space is what apps can make your life easier as a human being who needs to be looking after themselves? If you're joining us, please let me know that you are here uh, and that you are listening. It's a very large chance that we have some issues again with the wonderful software that we have going on. All right. So if you have any questions, uh, particularly around apps that you are looking for uh, in your business uh, or your life, please let me know. Okay, good. We've got good audio. Just checking. Okay, so if you've got any questions, that would be cool. Otherwise, I'll get into it. So uh, apps for business first. Okay, so we're covering three different areas. Hey, Kat, nice to see you. Phew, it's all working. All right, so we've got uh, three different areas. We're actually covering these three different areas at the Natrepreneur Experience on the Gold Coast uh, next year in uh, 2019. And these three different streams of information is um, one of the places that I completely, it was a game changer for me to realize that I wasn't just a clinician in practice, that I was actually a human being who had to look after myself and I was actually a business owner as well. So um, melding all three of these is a bit like our own three-legged stool. We talk about it all the time with our clients, but uh, it might be our own three-legged stool. So I'm gonna come at it from that angle on the apps that have helped business, apps that have helped personally and apps that have helped clinically. All right, apps in the business world. All right, apps you cannot live without, I cannot live without, and they are on my phone. So I have access to them all the time and it makes my life super easy to run my business wherever I am on the planet because I run um, immersions overseas. I also run programs and uh and seminars and other things um, here and overseas as well. And so I like to be able to do all of my work from my phone. So apps are really important to me. One of the first big ones from a marketing perspective, I love, 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 uh, number one is WordSwag. Now WordSwag was, um, I don't know, about $2 when I signed up for it. And it's a little bit more now, but it is an awesome, awesome, awesome app from a marketing perspective. If you um, love those little pictures that have quotes over them or you like your own pictures that you want to put words over the top of, Word Swag is for you. Uh, it's really good for uh, Facebook, social media, Instagram posts, and even for um, putting stuff online in uh, groups and other things. And it allows you to select a whole range of free stock photos. So they've got access to everything. You just put a little um, word in there and it actually picks up the pictures for you. And then you can select all different text and you can even add your logo to it and share it on social media. So um, I think it's an amazing app really worthwhile, really uh, quick and easy. Whenever you just get that moment of inspiration and you want to share it with somebody and you want to make it pretty, uh, then it's a really good option there. All right, uh, WordSwag's kind of best buddy app is uh, Canva. So Canva has an option of an app as well. You can also get Canva online and I love Canva for creating eBooks and um, PDFs and even book books. But um, yeah, so it's it's an app as well, but I love WordSwag more. 
that's just me personally. It's just quicker and easier. Hey, Pam, nice to see you. And anyone else who happens to be watching that hasn't appeared. All right, number two. Do you ever get that moment where you are having, okay, so I'm a mum of three. So I am driving here, there and everywhere and I often get divine downloads on my way to school pickup or I get that random list of stuff that won't get out. So one of my favorite apps for uh, this is Rev, R-E-V. It is a voice memo recorder and you can just use it as a voice memo recorder, but you can also get it transcribed. So, hey, Katie, nice to see you. Uh, yeah, so you can also get it transcribed. So it, um, it records your voice and then you can get it all transcribed and you can get it all written down. So I wrote a lot of my book. I authored a lot of my book by getting the words out because I'm more of a speaker than a writer. Um, getting my words out and then pressing the go button and literally getting those notes transcribed. It's so cool. You use it all the time, Pam. Awesome. I love, love, love Rev, especially for the people who are speakers rather than writers. Awesome. And if you want to save heaps and heaps of time with all of the stuff that's in your head and you want to get it out. If you get a, if you have a hard time writing blog posts and you know you need to consistently and persistently for your business show up by giving you new content like blog posts, but you are better at speaking, imagine just speaking into your phone. So good. Next one. Social media can get a little bit overwhelming. And uh, when you are worried about, oh, I have to post something today and I have to post something tomorrow and I have to post this, that and the other, and you just don't have the time for it or the bandwidth for it, bandwidth being your brain power for it, then a scheduling, a scheduling tool or a scheduling app is the best, either investment in time and a little dash of money for some of them. So uh, my two favorite scheduling tools include Later, L-A-T-E-R, Later.com, and Hootsuite. So uh, it depends. If you are really strapped for cash, then Hootsuite is the way to go. If you have a little bit of leverage, then later is the way to go. Um, now, these are scheduling tools that allow you to essentially get a whole uh, bunch of content. So if, say for instance, you are, I don't know, you're researching for one of your clients and you uh, all of a sudden find all of this stuff about fibromyalgia, right? And you find um, a couple of things on, uh, you find a couple of scientific publications, you find a couple of quotes, you find a couple of blog posts that are interesting, you find some statistics that are amazing, literally chunking those down into 30 different pieces and then being able to schedule them out means that you have a month's worth of stuff coming out and you don't even have to think about it. You just spend an hour putting it all in to uh, either Later or Hootsuite on the app and you can connect all of your uh, social media to them and then that pops it out for you and you don't have to think about it anymore for the whole month. So when you get inspired, when you get a bit of a flow on with the amount of information that's coming in, uh, one of the biggest things we talk about in the club is create before you consume more. So we are all into the consuming thing, you know, apart from being a human being in the 21st century, um, having so much information available to us and knowledge and we're all so excited about the next health thing. We want to consume, 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 but what we really need to do is create and create in a way that we are sharing that content with the world. And so Later and Hootsuite allow you to share little drip feeds of that content and you don't even have to be there because it automatically goes out. Cool. All right. Nice to see you, Grace Beck and Christy. Joe, this is perfect. I am much better at talking than writing. It sounds much more... And it sounds much more like myself when I speak it. I totally agree. Same thing happens for me. All right, next app. All right, next is a series of apps, right? And it really depends on who you, you know, the way your brain thinks. Often there is multiple different versions of the same kind of idea. And for some people, one particular one they, they're attached to, like there's a couple of webinar programs that some people just can't stand, but they can handle the other one. And then others just can't handle the other one and yeah, vice versa. 
So this is a group of apps that help you with um, post-it notes, essentially. So in the post-it note world, we have all these different varieties of sizes and all the things, but in the digital landscape, there is places and spaces that we can keep all of our notes so that they don't end up going anywhere else. So uh, the favorite of um, a lot of people is Evernote, and it's a very similar kind of uh, idea to post-it notes, except you can uh, cluster a series of notes all together and uh, give them a folder per se. And uh, you're able to then, you know, if you get that information on fibromyalgia, you get that information that, yeah, oh, that's a really great thing because I went to that PCOS summit on the weekend and I, I now know all this stuff about that. Or here's all the things I now need to do for my business. Boom, 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 boom. So uh, these are possibilities for things like Evernote. The other one is Google Keep. So Google has a version of Evernote and Google Keep is um, a to-do list and you can keep different varieties of to-dos. What I love about Google Keep is you can have like little pictures and it gives you an idea. You can change the colors and follow it. It's, it's awesome. I love it. And a couple of other peeps that I work with use Wonderlust, uh, Wonderlist. And Wonderlist is um, a very similar program. Uh, it is creating, instead of having to-do lists and multiple notebooks everywhere, like a few of us do from time to time, you can keep it all in one spot. Cool. All right. The next two are along the lines of money. So from a business perspective, I could not possibly do my business without being able to and keep him in the money mindset that uh, of abundance that I do without having it available on my phone. And uh, I use uh, apps that are associated with paid products um, like Xero and um, I also use Stripe and so they're on my phone. But for you guys who are just starting out and don't have a lot of money, um, Wave is amazing. It's really, really cool. It's a free app and you can invoice, you can look after your money, you can you know, follow all the different ins and outs and you can even create reports for your profit and loss statement. It's free. So it's a Wave app. Uh, the other one is if you are um, considering going with or without an FPOS machine, then you can go and get the Square Square device from any Officeworks or uh, somewhere similar. You can get it online as well. And uh, Square has an app so you can take money from your phone. Cool. So there's some money-orientated apps. Lastly, in the business arena, um, if you ever get stuck with, so one thing is to write the to-do list and the other thing is then doing the ABC of the to-do list and the A's being your things to do, uh, the B's being not so much of a big deal, the C is things that you can uh, palm off and delegate and the E's are things that you can eliminate. Now those bits where you can uh, delegate or you can transfer or you can give to a team member or you can give to your partner or somebody else who can do these things, that doesn't really happen in Evernote and um, uh, in Google Keep. So Trello or Asana are the bomb. They are project management apps and they are extraordinary. You can literally sit on your phone and write the to-do list, but then you can send it to somebody and you can send it to somebody else and it all gets done from your phone. So it attaches to your email and you can send them all out. You can store information. You might have um, taken a screenshot or a picture of something and you want to really, you know, share that with your graphic designer or you want to um, keep it for later on. You can all sit there in Asana and it makes life so good, especially if you're running a slightly larger um, practice or a slightly larger business where you have multiple people in your team and you all need to talk to one another. Oh, I, I, uh, a lot of people like Trello. I'm an Asana type of girl. It's prettier, but yeah, that's just me. Beck, you use Asana in yours and you love it as well. Jo loves taking notes on Evernote. She's actually using it right now. <laughs> that's so cool, Jo. Um, all right, who else have we got? Um, all right. Uh, I use Facebook, uh, Facebook scheduling, uh, but I use later for Instagram. Cool. Awesome. 
Uh, there is a question from Christy about, does using scheduling tools affect your reach? I thought uh, something may have come up about that. Yes. So, so um, if you are using a paid version of it, generally it won't affect your reach. Um, there's a reason that the little underneath it, it says who it's from. Uh, when you see somebody's post, you actually see that it's from so-and-so. Uh, if you're using a paid version, it'll say it's from you and then Facebook reads it as though it's from you. If it, you're using a scheduled one, then it will say from later or from Hootsuite. Those ones generally do have a, um, uh, a slightly smaller reach, but it's reach all the same. So, um, and it does get you into the process of getting a little bit more traction than usual. All right. Uh, Lauren, the tabs in my browser are out of control right now. Tammy, what are you doing to me? Oh, <laughs> I'm listing all of the different, different apps. Love it. Okay. So that is, um, <laughs> that's, that's all the business apps. I wanted to keep that nice and succinct and I tried really hard to get to the minimum amount possible for things I couldn't live without, but you really can't live without some type of um, instant marketing tool. So my fave is um, Wetswag. You really can't live without um, some type of scheduling tool if you want to be consistent and persistent. Uh, even if it's not getting picked up by Facebook, you want all of your people to see that you're actually there um, at the people that are already seeing your content. You want to see that you are consistently and persistently there. You want to be organized and um, yeah, having post-it notes everywhere and multiple different notebooks, something's going to get missed. Uh, so having that and uh, you want something to track your money and you also want uh, something if you are in a team to be able to make sure that you can communicate with them effectively and in a lovely easy way. So they are all my business app moments of genius. All right, next. Uh, so like I was saying, we're doing business apps, we're doing personal apps, and then we're doing clinical apps. So um, these are the three streams that are going to be at the Natchpreneur Experience on the Gold Coast in 2019. Um, and they're the three streams that I completely didn't realize that we need to weave in like a plat for it to actually work in our business and our life. We can't just have one thing out. Um, we can't just be your business, business, business. We can't just be clinicians and we can't forget. In fact, we are human and we need to look after ourselves. So these are the things that make my life easier. All right. Health apps. I've got top five health apps for you. Ready? Uh, this is your personal health apps, right? Don't go giving all these away to your clients uh, and not doing it yourself. Burnout is a real thing in our profession and I've had enough of hearing so much about it. We need to actually start looking after ourselves. All right. Um, Think Up app. Who, who uses affirmations? Who uh, has ever used an affirmation? You might not be using them now, but you might have used them in the past. Those moments where you go, okay, I... So some of my affirmations in the past have been things like, um, I'm... Uh, always in the right spot to meet the right people at the right time to have the right conversation, right? So I've had those those types of things. Uh, I've had affirmations when um, I have been wanting to manifest a particular amount of people on a program or a particular amount of money to go to a particular type of training and I turn them into my pass password on my um, phone or my computer. But this one just like Rev, which is the app that we used uh, that I was talking to you about for recording your voice and then being able to get that transcribed. This one is recording your own voice as your own personal affirmation and then being able to layer it on top and you be able to listen to your own wisdom. I know it sounds a little bit weird and wacky. Lean in and try it out. It's really cool. Uh, if you're an audible, an audio style person who listens to things and then is able to understand them better, uh, this is an amazing tool. And we know from doing all our qualifications that repetition is the mother of all achievement. And repeating and repeating and repeating that, having it in the background, is going to make it just a real normal neural pathway for you. So uh, it's called Think Up. So instead of 
thinking down or thinking sideways or getting distracted. Um, it's called Think Up app. Uh, so it's your own positive affirmations. And I really think it's quite cool. Give it a go. Next one. Who gets sidetracked really easily? Hmm. <laughs> okay, maybe I do. And so I have used all sorts of productivity tools. And one of my favorites is the Forest app. Um, it's based on the Pomodoro method. Um, there's a lot of apps based on the Pomodoro method. The Pomodoro method is how long it ca takes to cook a tomato, like 20 minutes, and then you take five minutes, five to 10 minutes out, and then 20 minutes of concentrated time, and then five minutes to 20 minutes out. Anyway, really great book on that. But, uh, you know, I didn't want a tomato like timer and it was just all a bit weird for me. But Forest app is amazing because you actually, it's uh, an app that's attached to your computer or your phone and every 20 minutes that you sit for, it will create a forest. It's gamification for your productivity. So you, you actually are growing a forest. So you get trees and you get one tree initially and then you get multiple trees and then you start growing a forest and then you're contributing in a way that you couldn't have imagined to um yeah this yeah this game so i'm super excited about it forest it helps you focus and concentrate for the 20 minutes that you might need to actually get a task done instead of getting randomly sidetracked like carolyn and i do uh so yeah i love it it's very cool instead of just a random timer you're actually you know achieving something all right check it out next one is insight timer now insight timer is one of my favorite meditation apps i also love omvana but it's not as good as it used to be so insight timer has uh heaps of different meditations and you can select what amount of time you want to meditate for what type of meditation you want to do who you want to listen to and it's free. So uh, we all know the benefits. We all know the benefits, like from a knowledge information perspective, we all know the benefits of uh, meditation. Yet, interestingly enough, not a lot of us actually meditate every day. My favorite thing about Insight Timer, again, gamification, I'm like a sucker for getting gold stars. And at the end of your meditation, it gives you a little sticker that tells you how, like, you've done your meditation for that day. And so you can start to build up how many stickers you get and, you you know, you can play against your friends or your your group. Um, we, we've had a couple of sprints on this in uh, the club where we collect all of the dots and we see who can actually get their meditation in for the week. Uh, so for... Um, all of us, yeah, I, I now start my day with meditation and it specifically came from me doing that. Um, <laughs> uh, now I can dive deeper and get more uh, from my meditating by being in it rather than doing it for the special sticker dot. But uh, for it to kick me off to be able to do that was um, a pretty cool thing for a free app to do. Uh, and I get to listen to whoever I want to listen to. I don't get, don't have to listen to, you know, a male voice if I don't want to. I don't have to listen to, um, an, a, you know, Australian, American. Blah, blah, blah. You can have all different varieties and, it, you know, you can go from body to mind to motivation to other things. So um, insight timer. All right. Next one is Audible. Now, Audible isn't a free app. It's actually an app that helps you uh, consume information again. And for all of us uh, information consumers, extraordinaires, learners, 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 we love our knowledge. Um, I love books. And what I found in running my business was I was missing out. I was getting piles and piles and piles of books next to my bed. Like even now, if I took you in there, you would see there's about five books that I have on the go at the moment. Um, and the reason that they continue to, to stay there is because I can't read a book while I'm here. I can't read a book while I'm waiting for my kids or driving in the car or, uh, you know, running programs or doing other things. It's really difficult to be able to focus in on that at the same time as doing other things. So... I love Audible, which is audio books. And for $14 a month, I get a new credit into my uh, inbox and it tells me, hey, you can go and buy an audio book. 
Now, the cool thing about this is I get on my podcasting app and I listen to podcasts and they often have people who are just releasing their new books and I get to listen and then go, I love that book. And because I've got a couple of credits, I can then go and download that book and then I get to listen to it in the car, on the plane, uh, on the way to events, on the way back. I get to share it in a way that I hadn't been able to consume that information before. So uh, especially for mums who are busy, you know, running around the house, you know, I, I listen to stuff while I'm making dinner and other things. Uh, and it's really good quality. And most of the time it's the person that's written the book uh, the author who is actually speaking the book, the audio book. So that's Audible. Anyone else do um, do audio books? I love books. Uh, a game changer for me. It really did change. <laughs> Although some of them, yeah, some of them are super long and you've got to listen for like 15 hours to get to the bottom of them. But, uh, yeah, you can be really selective about it and um, it's quite cool. All righty. Next, last on our own personal health level. This one's for the girls. Uh, a naturopath made this one. It's called Seed Concept. Seed Concept is an app to track your period. So uh, often I have found with my mentees especially, we forget, um, and I'm talking to all the ladies out there, we forget that we're a woman because we're busy doing all the things for our clients and we're busy doing all the things for our clinic and we're busy doing all the things to get more clients in and we're busy doing all the things for our team and then we're busy doing all the things for our family and then we get those crazy days where we're like, ah, oh, you know, and all of a sudden we realise that our period's there and we don't acknowledge the fact or slow down or take the time out to understand what's going on for ourselves because we're too busy noticing all of the things for everybody else. So uh, I really like this app. It's good for um, clients as well, but you should try it out first and figure out for yourself what's really cool about it and what's not um, so that you can give it a go. All right. There's our five personal apps. Next, five clinical. So your five clinical apps, yes, this is what everybody waits for, but the business ones are the super good ones. And then the ones for you looking after you are even more important. And then the clinicals are kind of a bit of a bonus, right? So how you can make your uh, clients' lives easier. The clinical ones, uh, one of the ones that's been talked about in the Naturepreneur Hub recently a lot is for who has a, ever had an issue with meal planning for their clients. Uh, I know a lot of nutritionists, um, me included, and naturopaths uh, who love food who love, um, you know, talking about food, talking about the vitamins and nutrient contents in food and things like that. But to write an entire meal plan for somebody who has food, food intolerances and this and that and the other going on is a bit of a mission. Some of you guys love it and that we love you. You should definitely make um, a business model out of that hint, hint, nudge, nudge for other practitioners to buy into. But for the time being, to get it in a super easy way, um, this one is a paid one, but it is really beneficial. It's called That Clean Life. It's for meal plans and you can select the different types of things that are going on with your clients, uh, be it different intolerances, different foods, allergies and things like that. And then it will spit out healthy uh, meal plans for your peeps. So That Clean Life. Next one. Oh, I love this one. This is Herb App. And um, the Herb App is by Melissa Schultz. She's a hubster. And um, it's an awesome uh, app to get your monographs as well as looking after how to put together, um, yeah, different uh, herbal tinctures and mixtures. And um, it's really cool. You should go check it out. It's at naturopathictools.com.au. And uh, it's super cool. All right, um, and you know anything by another pracky, you know that it's going to have the goods behind it. Uh, next one is, I think Joe, you mentioned this one. Um, it's called About Herbs. It's just an easy, accessible way to find um, where your other herbs are. Uh, so it's an app, easy information to find out about herbs. Uh, last two, uh, this one's a, a nut one, a nutrition one. Uh, you know where you get stuck finding nutritional values for things? Uh, super easy one that everybody can use and it's it's quite ergonomic. You know, you don't have to go and think about it. And um, 
is my fitness pal. So my fitness pal is one of the quickest, easiest ways to get the nutritional panel or value of foods that you, you can just pop it in and then it spits out the numbers for you. Um, there is one, uh, a, a newer app by the, um, the Food Standards Australia and New Zealand, F-S-A-N-Z, um, but I don't think it's as ergonomic and, um, yeah, it's not quite as innovative as my fitness app. It's a bit more um, tech to use. Okay, last one. Uh, this is a new one again. Um, it's an interesting thing to see apps that come from um, the academic world and then join into the app world or the apps that come from the app world and uh, ha how the difference is in uh, being able to use it from a, an end user perspective. And um, Monash's FODMAP one, uh, so it's Monash FODMAP app. Uh, is a really good one. You can put in food intolerances and other, other bits and pieces in there as well, but it spits out information and food and dietary stuff for FODMAPs in particular. Um, but again, it's it's a very data-driven app. It's not quite as easy as some of the others to use either. So I think that's it. All right, any questions on uh, app? Any questions on apps that make your life super easier? Um, so these are things that make your life easier. They're available on your phone. You can run these things from your phone. Uh, they cover the three prongs of actually being um, in practice as an entrepreneur. So business, mm, personal, and uh, clinical. And um, most of the ones that I've described today are free. So check all of them out. They've all got websites and they're um, available on, uh, these are all available on um, Apple because I'm an Apple user. I love pretty easy things to use. Uh, and some of them, well, over half of them are available on Android. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, send them in. I would love to hear more questions. We're going to do a big Q&A session uh, towards the end of this month specifically to answer questions um, for, from you guys, all the people who are listening to these videos and all the people that are listening to these trainings. And, uh, yeah, the next place that you can see the business, personal and clinical streams of information is actually at the Natchpreneur Conference, uh, the Natchpreneur Experience 2019, NatX 2019. So you can go to tamiguest.com and find out more about that. And if you are in the hub, I have something secret that I'm not supposed to tell anybody about. <laughs> But there's a special deal, especially, especially, especially for um, the Hubsters coming up uh, the 1st to the 7th of October. My poor marketing manager is going, no, shush. But I'm so, so excited to do, um, I really want to hang out with you guys. And I really want to make it super easy for you guys to um, come to the Gold Coast and really get all this juicy goodness because these streams are actually turning into um uh, workshops. So we've got workshops in each of these streams every day of that conference and uh, we've got game changes in each different area of business, of personal development and of um, clinical gold that you can use in your business. So uh, I want to make it super easy. So between the 1st and the 7th of October, there's going to be a special, special, special um, for Hubsters to be able to join. All right. Uh, I better shush now. Have an amazing day, people. Uh, I hope you, um, just like any other video, if you find something really beneficial in this and you can take action on it, that is awesome. Go and download it now, especially if it's a free app, and start using it. If it's useful for somebody else because they've been having the same problem as you, definitely tell them about it or tell them about this video so that they can watch it as well. And we collectively as a profession can move forward and make our lives easier and um, yummier and more abundant. So have an amazing day and I will catch you guys in the next bit. Bye.